<laughs> was not a merry Nixmas for the orange and blue tonight for sure. Can't blame Julius though. Julius came in town with the Christmas spirit. 25 point performance put the team on his back. Yes, sir. But when you're going up against one of the best defensive teams in the league, JLs, and your backcourt goes a combined, your starting backcourt goes a combined two for 21. You're just sure. not going to win too many games, bro. All right. First thing foremost, RJ Barrett had a rough night. Ben Simmons put the clamps on my man after having a pretty good preseason and starting off shooting yeah. in the 70 percentile and the same percent in the first game. Didn't really score well. They only scored one bucket in that first half and ends up going two for 15 on the night. Felt like he forced a lot of those shots. But, you know, you know what this Ben Simmons is? You know, the defensive player. Hey, he's all defense. He's all yeah. defense, man. Ben Simmons took him up on the challenge. He, he reads scouting reports. Jails is one of the best players in the league. He reads scouting reports and said that RJ is not going to have his way tonight. He put him in central bookings, man. We got to go bail him out tonight. Exactly. So, so on top of the you know, the Alfred Payton going zero percent for the field today, CP. <laughs> yeah, and Clyde called him out. Not even looking at the basket sometimes. They didn't even look at the basket. Zero percent for the field. One assist. Um, Reggie Bullock wasn't giving you much either. I felt like Alex Burks. Probably should have came in a lot sooner in in both corners. To be honest, to be honest with you, yeah, maybe he even should be starting. We we really just needed shooting. We looked our best when shooting was on the court, CP. And even there was a, there was a sequence where where you had Alec Burks playing some pick and roll with Julius Randle, yep. and it's like, well, what do you know? Two scoring threats on the floor at the same time. They have they're forced to make a decision. They can't just drop off from Alec Burks, and they just can't act like Julius Randle is not going to punish him. And we we scored easily when we ran pick and roll with Alec Burks and Julius Randle, and it, you you make it makes you really miss Emmanuel quickly when he gets back. <laughs> yeah, <don't> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, indeed, man. No quickly tonight. No Obi tonight. The rooks are already mm -hmm. banged up. JL, so the the NBA grind has already gotten to him. Quickly out with the hit pointer and Obi out with the strained calf. And you know Tibbs goes out with the same starting lineup. As the Pacer game, same starting lineup that Mike Miller had trotted out a lot of last year. And it's the sure. same starting lineup that accounted for some of the, the worst offense in the league. Yeah. It's not going to change, Jay Ellis. The Zebra is not going to change its stripes. Alec Burks has to start. Now, yeah. maybe maybe not right now because you need a little bit of balance in the lineup because the bench, you just have no one to go to. But yeah. I think once Rivers comes back, once Quickly comes back, you got to put Alec Burks in that starting lineup, bro. He gives you way too much versatility, can handle the ball, can give you some playmaking, gives you some shot creation. As I always said, gets to the line a ton. Exactly. You, you need his offense out there, either for Bullock at first, mm -hmm. or at this point, bro, I'm not even afraid to go point guard by committee and sit Peyton because it's that bad. It He's playing five bad. on four out there. It's that bad. It is really that bad. It's a dumpster fire out there, man. It's really bad. And um, we saw DSJ try to get in the action today a little bit too, and it wasn't that much. Uh, it wasn't that much better either. I mean, he looked a little bit more comfortable trying to shoot the ball, even though it didn't really drop in. But he really didn't play the pure point today, CP. It was it was still point guard by committee. I feel like Alec Burke was kind of there as a babysitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he, he brought the ball up a few times. DSJ bought the ball a few times, so he was kind of more like a combo guard a few times. He was in the corner a few times, CP. <laughs> yeah, I agree, man. Listen, we, we, we know the issues, man. We we know the issues, and we know it's going to be an issue for 72 games, bro. DSJ mm -hmm. came in. He, he did what he could do. Wasn't effective. No Frank this time. No Frank. Yeah. No Frank, Frank at all this time. Garbage and, time. Mm -hmm. again, the, the, the writing is on the wall. I saw somebody on Twitter like, oh, maybe they're saving Frank because they have a back-to-back -to -back tomorrow. Stop it. Please, stop it. They need offense right now. They need offense. Bad. Badly. What Tibbs is telling you is that he doesn't trust what he's seen from Frank. This is his fourth coach. Yeah. Yes, we can put it on the player development or lack thereof, but sometimes we got to read the room, man. It's definitely a trust issue. And it showed the night before. I was kind of surprised, to be honest with you, that the game before Frank was in before DSJ because it seemed like he trusted DSJ a little bit more than Frank. 
Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe maybe he's going to do a seesaw thing because uh, DSJ got in the game today. He played a lot more minutes than Frank did, so, um, even though he wasn't that effective. But I guess he still pushes the ball, which is something that Tom Thibodeau. Which a little know. bit, but not even as much as you need to. I need DSJ to be aggressive out there, Jails. Nah, I get it. I feel I it, need man. him to be I'm aggressive out there. You I'm know. with you. It's just it's all bad. It's all bad. And like I said, you know, the defense wasn't wasn't all that bad. I thought the bigs did as good as they as they I think they played and beat as well as they could at times. Absolutely. I thought Mitch played a more disciplined game. Absolutely. Um I didn't like him I didn't like how they let Dwight Howard bully him up a little bit. I wasn't feeling that, you know. But um, you know, Dwight had his way off the bench. They gave him beat a couple three pointers. You could live with that. But I thought Mitch overall had a disciplined outing. Julius was on his game, man. 25 points, 11 for 15 from the field, seven boards. He came out hot. You know, they found yeah. a weak link in the in the Philly defense, and that was Tobias Harris. Course, and and Julius, Julius just went to town and, and did, his, did his numbers. But again, when you struggle like they did in the second half, third quarter in particular, where this game was pretty much lost, yeah. um, then it goes into Julius playing hero ball. Mm-hmm. It goes to... Bad shots, which lead to terrible transition defense, and you're giving up easy buckets. This is this is how bad teams stay bad, JLs. Yeah. This is how bad they, teams stay bad, bro. It, they lost their will to fight. It's kind of similar to what happened to the before the, the game before, where they were in the game, third quarter, things go awry, and that good defense you saw for those first three quarters and a half, it starts it to sputter down. a little bit. Yeah, and that might be the time when Tom has to go to his bench a little bit earlier. Especially considering you have a back-to-back yeah, yeah. game today, it's be, just just to get a spark, and that because that's what the, the bench is for, right? That the bench is for the spark. So when that happens, you feel like the fight is out of the guys. You just you just need a spark at that point. You just try he, he waited until like four minutes left in the third to realize Peyton wasn't it. Yeah, that was the doubt. If there was a coaching mistake, definitely the third quarter um, substitutions were off to me. I felt like he waited way too long to take out Peyton and Bullock, to be honest with you. Got to get him out of there, man. They hurt. Yeah. I feel like they should have been out of the game maybe at the seven, eight minute mark, CP, instead of the, the three or four minute mark. I, I, I mean, you know, Bullock does what he does, man. He's a backup player. You need Burks in there. You yeah. Need, you need Burks in there. At and, the very... and I'm almost ready to start him at the one at this point, man, to be honest. At... But go ahead. Now, at the very least, if you're going to start the game with Reggie Bullock, you play that by field. You know what I mean? If he has it going and the threes are going, good. You can rest Burks a little bit. You can have him be the, the centerpiece off the bench. But if, if Bullock is not hitting, pull it, pull it, pull a chair. You got to pull it. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you got to pull it, man. Because he doesn't really offer anything else, really. Yeah. Like, he, he solid defense. But we need the scoring that we bad. need. We need we need the scoring, man. We need the scoring. We were the mm-hmm. worst offense in the league last year. I keep saying it in every <laughs> facet, every category, Jails. I exactly. keep saying it. We need more dynamics in the offense. You got to start Burks, man. You have to Definitely. start Burks. RJ, to. RJ came back to life tonight. You know he yeah. he went up against a tough match, and it's gonna get even harder tomorrow when he sees Drew Holiday and the number one ranked defense yeah. in the Bucks. Yep. So it's, it's film for RJ, you know, adjustments for him to make. But Peyton is just a, a, a legit zero out there from a con- contribution standpoint. If we didn't trade for Mike Conley before we discovered quickly, we don't need him. If we didn't trade for Rosie and Annie and Charlotte before we discovered quickly, we don't need him. The only thing worse than a player getting a chance to, to develop is when a coach don't get developed. If y'all pay attention to what that man is doing on the floor, you'll see what we actually missing right there. That man is a pure team leader, man. He talking to the players. He directing the players. He getting people in position when they out of position. He getting shots for us early, and he playing that on ball defense, man. We really yeah. miss that man as a as a point guard and a leader on our team. The man just needs to be on that floor. And if you paying attention, Peyton. DSJ, none of them tried to solidify and get they get they get their spots back. You know what I'm saying? If they was in the, in, the, in in practice playing shirts and skins, they'd be in skins trying to get a jersey on. <laughs> if I was coaching, they would never put that jersey on again. 
period. And I'm going to take Bullock Don't out that game. That, man. He ain't never supposed to start no more, man. Get that boy who we brought up from Philly, and he didn't just put on because he was playing Philly. He put on like that the game before that. Yeah. I need that boy at the number two first. That's yeah. our number two. Get Bullock out of there. Yeah. He can only shoot. Burst can shoot. But he ain't got no handle. Burst got a handle. Yeah. He can offset the one, two, to the three. Get Bullock out that game. But I'm going to give some props back to Randall. Because, you know, I was real hard on Randall early. But I see yeah. now into the season, Randall really worked on his game. And what I mean by he worked on his game, he understands that he's really not a go-to man. But it messed with his head last year when he got that money. And he came here and he became the go-to man. And he didn't know how to be that person. So he learned from the mistakes. Now this year, I can see his growth. His turnovers is down. His shot selection is better. And he's making more passes and getting more assists. So let me give him his props just like that. But I'm shocked. Hey, for real, for real, we're making big changes on our team. I like them jerseys. I don't know what Walt was talking about, man. I'm tired of everybody just jumping on us about what's going on with the Knicks. He need to change some of them outfits. It's a whole different day of time. He need to catch yeah. up and stop being back there. Get a night suit or something. And I only, that, that new movie, Soul, that came out, they was downgrading us to Knicks, man. I'm tired of everybody shooting at us, downgrading us, grading us, man. Our time is coming, man. And if you're a real Knicks fan, stay a Knicks fan and don't find ways to shoot us down, man. Let's go. Our time is coming, man. We just got to have patience, man. Let's go. Patience, man. Patience. And patience, man. Just keep having patience, man, and let the time grow. But our, our, our point guard is that boy quickly, man. And I like the starting lineup, what you said, with quickly, Birch, RJ, yeah. Randall, and Nick. I like that right there as a five. And, and the other guys got to come along. But don't put Bullock in that game. Don't put DSJ in that game. Don't put Peyton in that game. Put Knox and all them other guys way before them. And don't put McKe- uh, Frank in that game. They all up out of here, man. We're growing. It's trying to go 10-man rotation. Nah, narrow it down to seven and eight, man. Because don't forget, Rivers is on his way back, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? He's on his way back. I'm a real guard. I come from Benjamin Cardoza. Bay oh, let's go. Queens, New York. Let's go. I'm down here in North Carolina. Don't think I don't know the game. I'm a point guard. I don't play it against Kenny Smith. I don't play let's it against go, Rod Stricker. I don't play it in the wheelchair classic. Let's and go. All that. I don't play it for the Gauchos. I don't play it for Riverside Church. Let's go. Roll the resume. Roll the resume, Jay Let's Ron go. The Clario, man. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to that guard play. So don't, we ain't playing for Mike Conley early. Don't go get him now. We don't need no Rosier. None of that. All we need is time for that boy to develop, man. He's ready right now. And he, you can look at Maxie and tell who was the best player on Kentucky because Maxie looked like he was lost out there. For real, for real. I'm going to sign off, man. I'm going to talk to y'all again. Ooh. Let's see what we're going to look like tomorrow night. I'm going to talk to y'all again yeah. before this year is out and then we're going to jump into 21. Let's but go. Be patient, man. Love Ooh. and peace. And JL, hey, yo, I'll be watching your show too, man. Your show is real big. If I knew your cash app over there, I'll bang you up too, man. Real <laughs> yo, fast, man. The KMT Love, show. Peace, <laughs> Let's go, Jails. That's how you close the show. That's how you close the show, Jails. Uh, that's that's a perfect five. Rate that call in the chat. One through five. One being the worst, five being the best. That's a five for me, Jails. And then he dropped the resume on him right after that. Drop the resume, man. Drop the resume on him. Oh my you know, God. he's been keeping it humble this whole time. He, he'll drop yeah. a couple gems here and there. You know, he knows a couple people here, knows a couple people there. But tonight, Jay Ellis, Jay Boogie lets you know. Facts. <laughs> he played on the Black Tops. The Cardozo legend. High School. Put some respect on his name, Jay Ellis. Facts. Facts with the legends, man. The Battle legends. tested. Battle tested. Came the closer for a reason, man. Battle tested, like JL. He, he was preaching like his Sunday morning. That is but NYC. Sunday morning. That is NYC <laughs> hoops. Facts. Finest right there. 